Currently I'm dealing with chronic uh, sesamoiditis um, in both feet, bilateral. It's a problem I've had for a few years now. I worked through it in my draft year as well as my first year. Probably not bad enough to stop playing, but was very sensitive to the area. And now this preseason, having increased my load and increased my intensity, it's become a bit more unbearing. So uh, I've been deloaded for the last probably month or two and trying to figure this out and get on top of it so I don't have to play with it for the next 15 years. Number one thing is it responds well to, to decreasing load, a bit of time off, but also like a lot of treatment, a lot of foot intrinsic strength, which probably isn't on the radar before you figure out you got something like sesame eyes, but probably should be. So yeah, me and Stephen Allen, one of our physiotherapists, we're gonna fly over and catch up with the Australian ballet physio called Sue Mays. She's supposed to be an expert in this area, dealt with a few AFL players over in Melbourne dealing with a similar issue. So hopefully she can help me uh, around the intrinsics, the foot strength, the calf strength, find a way to, to get through this and yeah, be able to put myself in the best position to play the best football I can. Uh, it's been incredibly disappointing. You know, like all boys, you want to be part of the preseason. It's a time to level up your game and especially for me to, to improve my fitness. So it's very frustrating to be out there, but at the same time, like everything in life, I've tried to find the positives in it and um, there's a lot of areas in my game that I've had to improve on. Um, so I've been able to do that on the side and I've still been able to stay fit for various cardio options. So yeah, just keep working through this, uh, this injury and yeah, probably come out the back end, you know, a, a stronger person for it.